Hey, what's going on guys? Mig Matters Golf. I'm in the UK and we're back to the usual weather pattern. Rain blowing sideways, cold, and just an uh, overall miserable day. So, stuck indoors, good opportunity for a book review again. Um, I know I tell you I like all the, the books that I review, but I particularly like this one because um, this fits in very well with my kind of philosophy. Um, I guess I might as well show it to you. So, uh, every shot must have a purpose. Uh, Pia Nilsson and Lynn Marriott. Pia Nilsson, Lynn Marriott, uh, worked with Annika Sorenstam. And in fact, the foreword in here is by Annika herself. Um, why do I like this golf book? Well, um, I'll tell you what, if I read you a few of the uh, chapter titles, it will give you a bit of a flavor as to why I like it. Starting with uh, chapter one, which um, hooked me straight away. Chapter one, forget what you know, learn what you know. Okay, most of us as amateur golfers, we, uh, we crave getting better and we automatically think that if I go to somebody that's better than me, if I go to a pro, I will automatically get good information and it will be the best thing for me to improve. Sadly, I wish golf was like that. Uh, it's not. Now, no doubt you'll get good information. Uh, I'm not disputing that but will it improve your game, okay? Amateurs don't grow up uh, playing golf correctly, being supervised all the time, having detailed instruction all the way through their playing career. They normally or typically develop bad habits early on, uh, repeat these habits uh, over and over again, and then spend the, the rest of their golfing career trying to get out of those habits. So you need a way to improve your game, okay? And forgetting what you know and learn what you know, think about that for a minute, is the best way I know to achieve, okay? Forget what information you've been given by other people and all that. Learn through trial and error. Teach yourself what you know works for you, okay? You might have an ugly swing on video, but there might be certain things that you do and repeat well, okay? And you need to know for yourself, that works for me, that's what I do well, and find ways uh, of changing the things you don't like. But just taking information from here and there, looking at all different players and the way they swing the golf club will just get your uh, head in a mess and you really won't make any improvement. You know, there are fads everywhere, okay? When Tiger Woods came out, I'll swing it like Tiger. When Dustin Johnson came out with his bowed wrist, I'll do that, swing it like Dustin. Forget all of that. Teach yourself or learn your swing. It's the best advice I can give you. So let's go through another couple of chapters. Uh, change your brain to change your game. I love that. Everybody thinks that uh, they can just work on motor skills, you know, uh, muscle memory and they will improve. You need to have the correct concept up here of what you're trying to do. Uh, without correct stuff up here, you can't make the body do it, okay? Uh, let me see, there's so many here, but uh, I'm just looking for some salient ones. Um, don't play the blame game. Fantastic piece of advice. Make practice real that's really important okay why are we all decent on the driving range and we suck on the golf course we don't make practice like golf uh, that's a good way of getting better um let me see the stuff about putting which i kind of liked make pressure your friend a lot of us crumble under pressure because we don't enjoy it or we think we'll look silly or we'll embarrass ourselves if you can get over that bit and you can enjoy the butterflies of pressure you'll find your game will really take off especially uh, in competition 
What's the worst can happen in golf? You lose. It's not life or death. You're not going to lose all your money, lose your house. You know, um, nothing drastic is going to happen. You'll just maybe shoot a high score. What's the worst that can happen to try putting that ego aside for a bit and just embracing difficult things and pressure? Uh, there's some good chapters on how to practice now here. Um, anyway, I could go on and on and on. But really, what I like about this book, uh, I always give you a little tidbit, but what I really uh, like of this book, without spoiling, is they really advocate your swing. Okay, they advocate learning your swing, learning how to improve you. Not learning to look like Ernie Els or Tiger Woods or whoever the latest sensation might be. Learn you and practical ways to do that. So anyway, one last time. Every Shot Must Have a Purpose by Pia Nielsen and Lynn Marriott. Uh, oh, it says with Ron Sirak. I wouldn't want to forget Ron. Sorry, Ron. Uh, forward by Annika Sorenstam. Short little read. Um, believe these two ladies uh, run a fantastic golf school. You can check that out as well. I highly suggest uh, you read this book. There are a couple of bits, well, more than a couple, there are quite a few bits in there that um, are slightly different to conventional golf instruction, and that's why I love it. All right, that was a quick one from me. Uh, I'm out of here tomorrow. Uh, out of here, I mean the UK. Back to warmer climates. Hopefully, we'll be able to shoot some video and some more interesting stuff uh, actually hitting golf balls. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Um, I hope most of you are doing your reading to improve your mind. And um, if you've read these books, please leave some comments. Tell all your friends, give us thumbs up, all that good stuff. All right, guys, Meg Manus Golf, signing off. See you later.